اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In this session we are going to focus on Hayes process macro multiple mediation analysis with covariates now previously i have done Hayes process macro with multiple mediators without covariates in this session the focus is on multiple mediators along with covariates in the model we want to examine if the construct of culture has an indirect effect through reliability and assurance when we use the word through it means that reliability and assurance are our mediators that are mediating the relationship between culture and commitment now here is my proposed model in this case the covariates are age and gender now age is a continuous variable and gender is a categorical variable now here is my model culture affecting commitment through reliability and assurance now each path has been labeled this is not required in process macro but just for better understanding of the paths i've labeled them now what is a covariate a covariate is a possible predictive or explanatory variable of the dependent variable or endogenous variables in the study that can influence the outcome of a given statistical trial but which is not of direct interest so a covariate can influence the endogenous variables that is mediators and the dependent variable now both are endogenous because they are being affected by other variables and they are not of direct interest now i'm not interested in assessing the impact of age or gender on my dependent variables in this study but they can affect the dependent variable and they can explain the variance in the dependent variable now both covariates and control variables can be considered control variables so control variable is an umbrella term that can include both covariates and control variables the main difference is in the measurement level if the variable is continuous use it as covariate if you have categories just like gender then you call it independent control variable now in this case i've got two mediators here is the conceptual diagram here is the statistical diagram now i've got one predictor two mediators and one outcome variable the variables are continuous now model 4 in his process macro can allow up to 10 mediators operating in parallel now in, in this case what we are going to do is you are going to go to analyze regression process macro and then we are going to add our dependent variable independent variable mediators and controls you are going to select model 4 how do we run it let's run it go to analyze regression process macro now i've got my dependent variable y commitment here my x variable culture here my two mediators reliability and assurance here my covariate age here i'm going to add gender here as well my model number 4 because i'm just testing mediation go to options and select total effects press continue nothing else needs to be done just press okay now here is the output the output is divided into different section this is just the introduction whereby you see okay you have run model 4 y x just double check make sure you have done it right the covariates are shown here as well the sample size 341 now each outcome variable is in sort of a separate section so first is reliability that is your mediator the next is assurance the other mediator then the final dependent variable commitment and then the total effects then the total direct and indirect effects and finally analysis notes and error now all these details are discussed in great detail here in the slides so i'm just going to go back to the slides and review the slides with the output now make sure you select the total effects because we will need them for reporting moving on so now we are going to interpret the output the first thing that we see is the basic description of the model 
So our model is number four. Y is dependent variable. X is independent. M1, M2 are the mediators. There are two covariates, age and gender. The sample size is 341. The first part of the output, your outcome variable is reliability. That is one of your mediators. The path was designated as A1 in my original model that I proposed. Culture, is it significant? Yes, culture has a significant impact on reliability. Age, a covariate, is it significant? No, it is not significant. Gender, is it significant? No, it is not significant. So both your covariates here are insignificant. So they do not affect this dependent variable or endogenous variable. Now culture has a significant impact. How do you show the significant impact? This is the beta value 0.5485. Here it is. Here is 0.5485. The next is your T statistics. Here is your T statistics. And the next is your p-value. If it is less than 0 0.000, we write it as less than 0 0.001. This is path A1. Moving on. Both age and gender were found to have an insignificant impact on reliability. That is your endogenous variable. The next path of the output where we have got outcome variable as assurance and this is your path A2. Now culture has a significant impact on assurance. If you look here, the beta is 0.5322. Here it is. The T statistics 10.8860 and the p-value is significant. Both age and gender were found to have an insignificant impact on the assurance here. Look at this age, gender, and both of them are insignificant. Now this is the third part of the output where we have our final dependent variable commitment and all three variables that is our IV, the mediators and the control variables affecting the outcome variable. Now culture has a significant impact on commitment. 0.3733 and it was found significant. Reliability, significant. Assurance, significant. When we say significant, this means that the p-value is less than 0.05 and your t-value is greater than 1.96 if it's a two-tailed test. In case of one-tailed, it is 1.645. In this case, the p-value, culture affecting commitment, Reliability affecting commitment, assurance affecting commitment, all p-values are less than 0.05. Age, in this case, was found to have a significant impact on commitment. This means that age is a covariate that is affecting the outcome variable of commitment. Moving on. Reliability was also found to have a significant impact on commitment. Here are and the beta, t and t statistics. Assurance was also found to have a significant impact. Finally, age was also found to have a significant impact. Look at this age 0 0.210 and the p-value is 0 0.002 and this age is positive. This means that with increasing age, there is higher commitment. However, gender was found insignificant. The commitment is same for both male and female respondents. Now there is no effect of gender as covariate on the DV, so possibly best not to include it in the model with the final write-up. So when you do your final analysis, remove gender as a covariate because it's not affecting any of your outcome or dependent variables. Now here is your final part of the output where you see the total effect model that is the impact on commitment by culture, age and gender. Now age and gender are your covariates and culture is your independent variable. So the total effect is 0.5996. The ask R is that is the correlation of these exogenous variables with commitment is 0.6223. The R square is 0.3873. Now this means if we change it into two percentage 
by multiplying it with 100, this would mean 38.73% change in commitment can be accounted to culture, age and gender, of which just culture and age are significant. Next part of the output shows the total direct and indirect effect of X on Y. Now total effect refers to the impact of X on Y that is your culture on commitment with the inclusion or sum of direct and indirect effects. This will give you the total effect. Direct effect is the impact of culture on commitment in presence of the mediators in the model. This is without the mediators. This is with the mediators. Now in this case, your direct effect is significant. Here it is. The P value is greater than 1.96 and P value is less than 0 0.05. And your lev lower level confidence interval and upper level confidence interval do not have a zero in between. Both are positive here. Now in this case, your indirect effect. So this is your total indirect effect. Now this is the mediating effect of reliability. That is one of your mediators. And this is assurance. Are these significant? Well, this one is slightly insignificant because there is a zero in between. This is a negative sign. This is a positive sign. But later, if you calculate your T statistic by dividing this 0 0.0861 by 0 0.0435, you will get a value that is very close to 1.96 or maybe over. This one obviously is significant. So assurance mediates the relationship. Reliability, well, it partially or you can say to a certain extent mediates the relationship between culture and commitment. Now we will run the model without gender because gender was found to have be an insignificant covariate or control variable. So when you are doing your final reporting, remove gender from the model. And once we remove the gender from the model, this is our output. So all else, obviously you can interpret it the same way as we have done. Now with gender, look at the reliability. This is minus 0 0.0005. So there is a zero in between, although we can say it is mediating the relationship. But when you remove gender, this is what we get. Reliability and there is no zero in between. So if you divide 0 0.0868 by 0 0.0433, you will get a value greater than 1.96. Now, let me show you this whole thing here. Look at this assurance. Again, it was mediating previously and it is mediating now as well. Is there a mediation? Yes, this is the model, the final model that we are going to use. So there is mediation. And if we divide this effect by this bootstrap standard error, you will get a value greater than 1.96. So both indirect effects are significant. Is it full or partial? Well, it is partial mediation because the direct effect of culture on commitment is significant. So there is some effect that is passing through direct relationship between culture and commitment and some effect passing through these mediators. Is it complementary or competitive? Well, multiply A1 by B1 into C complement and multiply both of them both of these those paths that we've got earlier like a1 into b1 into c complement a2 into b2 into c complement if positive it is complementary if negative it is competitive look at this the sign of the direct and indirect effect is the same the sign of direct effect positive indirect effect positive so this is complementary mediation now how do we report the results Again, you can write your hypothesis here that reliability mediates the relationship between culture and commitment. Assurance mediates the relationship between culture and commitment. And you start by writing the study assessed the mediating role of these two variables on the relationship between culture and commitment. The results revealed a significant indirect effect or impact of collaborative culture on commitment. You copy the results from the output from SPSS, your beta value, your t-statistics, again, you get this t-statistics by dividing your effect size, indirect effect, by bootstrap standard error. His process macro won't give it to you directly. Now again, do it for the second hypothesis as well. And then 
The direct effect of collaborative culture on commitment in presence of the mediators was found significant. So when your direct effect is significant and your indirect effects are significant, this shows partial mediation. Additionally, age was found to have a significant impact on commitment, but had an insignificant impact on reliability and assurance. Mediation results are presented like this. So you present your total effect, your direct effect, the mediation relationships, their indirect effect, confidence interval, T statistics, and finally, whether it is partial or full mediation. I hope this session would have helped you understand how to perform mediation analysis using Hayes Process Macro Model 4 using covariates in the analysis as well. Thank you very much.